planning for distribution and logistics. In order to ensure that the concept of total logistics is put into practice and that suitable trade-offs are achieved, it is essential that a positive planning approach is adopted. Planning should be undertaken according to a certain hierarchy that reflects different planning time horizons. These are generally classified as strategic, tactical, and operational. There is an overlap between the main planning stages, which emphasizes that there are many planning factors that can be covered by different stages in this planning hierarchy. The relative importance of these various aspects of logistics may differ between one company and another. The choice of transport mode could, for example, be an initial strategic decision and also a subsequent tactical decision for the same company. It might be a strategic decision for a company that is setting up a new global logistics operation, but might be a tactical decision for another company that is principally a supplier to a locally based market and only occasionally exports over long distances. It is not relevant to define exactly which strategic, tactical, and operational decisions or tasks within a company should be classified as either planning or control. Most elements need to be planned correctly in the first place and then subsequently they need to be monitored and controlled to ensure that the operation is running as well as it should be. In the strategic function you have medium to long range horizon, a one to five plus year time span, overall structural decisions are made, uh, you have trade-offs between company functions and trade-offs with other organizations, uh, corporate financial plans and policy, and policy de decisions are developed into a strategic plan. Next you have the tactical function. This is where short to medium term horizon, a six month to one year plus time span. This is where subsystem decisions are made. Uh, you should not impose on other logistics components. Annual budgets provide finance cost basis and the strategic plan detail is made into an operational plan. And next in the operational function you have day-to-day decision-making, operations controlled against standards and rules, control through weekly and monthly reports, and the implementation of the operational plan. It is possible to identify many different elements within distribution and logistics that can be broadly categorized within this planning hierarchy. As already indicated, these may vary from one company to another and from one operation to another. Next, let's look at the main logistics elements for the different planning time horizons. In the strategic time zone, you have customer service, channels of distribution, supply points, production locations, depot configuration, depot types and number, the location and size of the depots, transport modal choice, third party or own account, direct delivery, and stock levels. Now you look at the tactical function and here you have transport. You have vehicle type sizes and numbers, contract hire, primary routes, delivery schedules, driver resources, supply facilities. You have depot storage, design and layout, space allocation, storage media, handling and methods, numbers, unit loads, and in the administration information, you have information support systems, monitoring procedures, stock location and control, order processing, and documentation. And lastly, in the operational function, you have goods receipt and checking, bulk storage, order picking, stock replenish replenishment, order marshalling, load scheduling, returns, personnel availability, stock update, documentation completion, vehicle maintenance, vehicle workshop activity. These examples serve to emphasize the complexity of distribution and logistics. In addition, they underline the need for appropriate planning and control. Distribution and logistics are not merely the transportation of goods from one storage point to another. There are many and varied elements that go together to produce an effective distribution and logistics operation. These elements interrelate and they need to be planned over suitable time horizons. If you enjoyed this video 
Then join my Business Mastery Insider Secrets Club. There you'll have access to all my business mastery systems, over a thousand business strategy videos, over a hundred hours of business mastery university courses. You'll access my 10 business assessment tools, my 12 business planning tools, the small business makeover, the 120 day performance challenge, the six month internet blueprint, thousands of business articles, over 700 business templates, and over a hundred of my favorite business strategy eBooks. All of this for just $29 a month for a limited time. So join now.